What's going on everybody here today with another Bodhi True Mental Health video. On this channel I talk about my own journey to severe mental illness, mainly OCD and severe chronic anxiety. The title of today's video is ERP, what is my experience with it? And this video really is a response video to a viewer who says he's seen a lot of therapists, he's conducting his own ERP program, and he wanted to know what my experience was with it and if he was doing too much, blah, 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 blah. ERP is not something that I talk about tremendously on here because I want to say that ERP does not re does not lead to recovery. But that doesn't mean that it shouldn't be the first line of response to someone that has OCD. Most people will not fully recover from OCD. I just don't believe that most people have what it takes to, to practice mindful living consistently enough to break rumination entirely. Um, that being said, you don't have to necessarily fully recover from OCD to live a life with some level of, um, what, what should I say, some level of, some quality of life. You can get get back a, 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 a sometimes a substantial, uh, many people that undergo ERP regain a substantial quality of life. It's something that may still be present daily, weekly, monthly, may get worse sometimes and less, uh, worse other times, may feel like they don't have um, anxiety sometimes. But um, OCD, uh, but ERP is the first line response. And if you go to a therapist who specialize in OCD, they're going to be talking to you about ERP and will probably be talking to you perhaps about mindfulness as a, as a second line way to combat OCD. So they're going to, mindfulness will be like, a, <laughs> mindfulness won't be the main approach. It'll be like a side, like a sidebar. And the main thing will always be RP be ERP, but maybe mindfulness will be something that you can dabble in also to improve OCD. So long story short, what's my experience with ERP? How do you do it? To answer this question, to viewers question, how do I know if I'm doing too much, too little? First off, you're never going to know if you're doing too much or too little. There's no exact amount of ERP that is appropriate. Um, if you work with a specialized therapist, they could maybe help you guide you through what they have experienced with their clients as the ideal amount of homework. But in short, you don't want to get, you know, compulsive with ERP. You want to do ERP a certain amount of time per day, let's say an hour to start. And then you want to use ERP during your day as these intrusive thoughts come in and use ERP as they come in. So when thoughts, these thoughts come in, rather than trying to run away from them, trying to avoid them, trying to cope with them, you invite them in, you purposely think about them. You confront the anxiety directly. And the more that you confront these specific fears and themes or anxiety around these things, the more that you confront it, the less intense the anxiety will come when it comes, and even the less often it will come. And so it's just pretty much facing your fears and not engaging in compulsions. If you have health anxiety, it's ERP is, hey, I have this thought came into my mind about this health problem. Um, I'm not going to research it. I'm not going to check my pulse, check whatever, whatever compulsions. Um, you know, you may be even able to think about these fears purposely. If you have a fear of getting an illness, you can purposely think about this. Okay, so what? You know, I have this problem and this is my life. And it goes like this for all fears. You know, you're just purposely engage. You're purposely exposing yourself to your fear. Like, let's say an hour a day or two hours a day to start. But, you know, you don't want to be spending necessarily two hours a day every day. So maybe just start, you set aside a few hours a day to where you're exposing yourself to your fear. As that, as your fear level starts to come down, then you start to just mostly more and more use ERP throughout the day as OCD shows it rears its head during the day. And the more and more you practice ERP, the more and more, the more and more 
your symptoms decrease and that's basically it i mean it's not rocket science it's not it's not it's not really complicated you're just exposing yourself to your fears and then just you know not engaging in, in compulsive behaviors when you your fears rear their head you know what's my experience with it whenever i before i got into the practice of mindfulness i did do erp and it did work it did work it does work i did see some level of relief but once i realized what the full crux of the problem was this endless chatter in my mind then i switched over to practicing mindfulness which is much more difficult anyways i hope this video finds you all well peace y'all